Okay guys, so let's go with E4. Okay, so he's playing the French. Let's, let's play D4. Now, obviously we can go for the exchange, we can go for the advance. Um, we can also play knight c3 as a move. Let's go with the advance variation. This is a very fun line to play as a, as a, as a French defense player. <clears throat> and obviously uh, he will try to put a lot of pressure on our position. He can play knight uh, c6, he can go directly with c5. This is a theory, a theory move and obviously queen to um, b6. Okay, so in this position, let's go c3. Okay, as you can see, he's got some pressure. So I do want to play sometimes the move uh, knight to d2 and knight to uh, b3. Then you can uh, have some more uh, defense on the position. Now, obviously, if he's going to take, I take. Right now, we are completely fine. In some lines, we will put even the bishop on, on d3. But... For now, we can keep develop. So basically, I will try to play uh, many different openings in order to make some uh, interesting content. So I will also play the London. I will play. Um, we can also go for the Slav defense, the Sicilians. Uh, I mean, there are many lines that uh, I can uh, go and play, and I uh, hope you will, guys, uh, hope that you will enjoy, guys. So, basically, now we can go Bishop d3. The idea is that if he's going to take, I take, and he take, and I take, he doesn't really win a pawn because you have this check and you win this queen. Now, in this level, uh, I guess he is now in other in other lines, so. I'm not really sure that uh, <coughs> he will fall for that. The question is, can we even play uh, <coughs> a knight to d2 now? Let's think about it. So knight d2, it takes, I takes, it take. Yeah, so this is not the top move. Um, I don't really want to take it with the, to put the bishop on e3. Also, we can move. So. I guess let's just take the pawn and obviously you can take the, with the bishop and, and put some pressure on your position and if it will be possible in the future I will try to play uh, knight to a4 in order to fork those two um, and the queen and the bishop so in this position I will uh, castle uh, kingside and as you can see we got this strong pawn and we need to find some uh, ideas in the future in order to maybe try um, to exchange this uh, bishop. This is a strong piece for uh, black. Okay, also um, f4 in this position can be interesting. So, okay, so basically, he wants to put some more pressure on this pawn. <clears throat> um, I guess we can even play uh, bishop f5. Because now it doesn't really have a pressure on uh, b2. We can also play uh, rook to e1, but then it can go back <coughs> because this uh, pawn will be weakening. Um, also, queen to um, e2 makes sense. So, what do we want to play? So, basically, develop the queen. Then we can maybe jump with the knight to d2 and b3 in order to put some pressure. On his position so yeah but we do need to be careful in the future maybe we try to open up the position and fork the, the queen to the knight so we need to keep that in mind and also the c3 pawn is doing a great job in order to restrict this uh, knight so what you want to do next is the to play knight g6 in order to put some more pressure on our position So let's develop the last piece. Yeah, sorry, the, not the last piece, but the bishop. And then the last piece. So let's go back. We slide the bishop back. And if the pressure will increase, we can always take this knight. If he's going to castle the uh, king side, also taking this knight can be... Okay, so I think this is a blunder because now he's going to take with the f7 pawn. 
and again you can always castle queen side and this not uh, going to be an issue but then we can go uh, before and try to attack on the <coughs> um, on his uh, king side so <coughs> let me think so obviously this move is currently now is not possible because we have uh, defenders but he might have some tricks on our position if we are not careful um, yeah, because the king is still in the center, we can try to target this pawn maybe, but we can also go uh, b4. I think b4 in this position can be quite interesting. And also if I might be able to open the c file, <coughs> um, we, this can be a very good uh, move. Now take notice that uh, we can we might lose the, the bishop or piece if he will push um, h4, so... We need to find. We can also put uh, the knight on a new outpost, and then if he's going to play h4, we can maybe go bishop f4. But yeah, this I'm not I'm not convinced that this is a good move. So right now I will play h5 uh, h4 myself. Okay, this pawn is protected twice, and it's not so simple to push. And in the future, we might even try to put some more pressure on his position. But again, I'm mostly convinced that he will try to castle queen side. So playing b4 already uh, is good because we put a lot of pressure on his position. Um, <clears throat> and maybe in the future even knight to d4 can be a very good move. Uh, maybe knight to g5 can be a very good move. And uh, in this position, playing the, with the rook, one of the rooks need to, uh, to go to uh, c1, basically to put pressure on the queen. Yeah, so as you see, castle queen side, but I'm not really convinced that this is uh, really good for black. So I guess maybe even playing c4 in this position is good, but then we're going to lose this pawn. So let's, let's attack this knight. Now notice that he doesn't really have so many squares. Okay, now it, it got a very slight pressure on this pawn, but we are covering it with the with the queen. Um, now we can even go <coughs> in this position. Yeah, we got some we got some ideas. So let's play uh, knight b1 to d2. Okay, and notice that he's got a very nice outpost for his knight, so we do need to be careful about it. Okay, so we play uh, knight to b8, but I think in this position it's uh, quite a slow move. So <clears throat> the question is, can we even play c4 ourselves? Um, he cannot really push because we can take. If he's going to take the knight, I will happily exchange and play uh, rook to c1, so... Maybe it's a temporary pawn sacrifice, but then it can maybe take this pawn if I'm not careful. So playing c4, he takes, I take, he take. Yeah, so... Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's play a4. And then we can play rook to f1 to c1 and then try to push. And then the second rook can even go, uh, come to uh, b1. Okay, also notice uh, that you need to uh, have some ideas that this, <coughs> this square is a very good fork between those two rooks. So, for example, playing uh, knight g5 might be an idea, but if he's going to take, this is actually going to be worse for us. So, if, for example, the bishop will transfer itself to a different square, maybe this, this, this uh, uh, development might be good for us, because uh, we might be able to uh, win the exchange. Okay, and also we do need to be mindful uh, on the clock. Hmm. So, obviously he wants to exchange. So if we take, we can even take back. So again, I'm not really... I don't really want to open this, his position yet. So let's continue with the, our original plan. If he's going to play uh, g4, we can even play knight to d4. We can try to go for this exchange, but I'm not really favorite. Yeah, and we can also play like this. So if we play with the knight, 
we can also jump to uh, to g6 then we have a very nice fork uh, we can jump but then he's got this uh, move so the question the question is what do we want to do about this position um, okay so let's take with the knight let's pre-move with the bishop and then we got the tempo on the rook okay and now this is a very nice fork notice that uh, yeah he needs to protect now if he takes I can al also take myself but we do need to be careful if we are about to um, open up the king side but I think maybe we can do it because I don't really want to find myself in a worse position okay notice this pawn is still defended and even though we exchanged the pawn at the center I, I think we are even better in this position so I do want to prepare maybe a c4 when possible and if you will try maybe put some pressure on the king side we can always move this rook to f1 and this rook to c1 okay so the question is can we go c4 yeah but now we can maybe push so let's slide this hmm. we can also have this uh, we can also take no but that I'm not I don't really want to give him too much so let's see <clears throat> uh, by the way take notice that it's kind of dangerous to move this knight away because he's got a very nice fog between those two rooks so this knight needs to be a guardian of this uh, position okay this move is still okay let's play and okay so basically he wants to attack and checkmate so let's play king f1 if he gives a check we can also play king to e2 this is completely fine When we are still up the exchange, but we are not. We are. Uh, we need to be mindful uh, with the clock because <clears throat> uh, I really enjoy to explain everything. But you know, uh, we also need to play this game, so I don't really want to lose. I need to be careful um, not to lose by time. Also, take notice that take with the pawn, it's not uh, will not be available after a fork exchange because then this rook will be undefended. Also, you can take with the pawn and win my queen. So we need to be mindful uh, about all of those moves. We can even maybe consider c5 in this position and then try to. Uh, protect the king, grab some pawns and maybe try to promote uh, one of those pawns I'm still waiting to see uh, what is going what is going to be his next move so I just pre-moved uh, rook takes on c1 makes a lot of sense okay so interesting move hmm. okay let's try to open the position now if he's if he's not going to take I will push this pawn if he's going to take I will try to win this pawn when possible And again, I still don't, uh, cannot really move. I mean, I can move the knight because if he will play, for example, the knight b3 in the previous position, we can always exchange rook. So it's not so dangerous, to be honest. Now, I guess maybe we'll try to uh, put some pressure on my position. So playing king to f1 makes sense. But we, we again, we need to be mindful about any kinds of ideas that uh, black has. And by the way guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you can sub, uh, it will help me so much, you know, even one sub, one like, one comment, um, 
I mean, it will be an honor if you can uh, um, do it for me. Do it for me because uh, it's really hard to, uh, you know, uh, to success on uh, on uh, YouTube. So a any help will uh, help a lot. So obviously it takes. Now we can take this pawn, I guess. <coughs> And we need to be aware because uh, those pawns push might be dangerous. So this was a temporary pawn sacrifice. But we can still put some pressure on his position. And again, it's not so simple to take because this pawn is still pinned to this, uh, to this queen. So basically we can also try to uh, put some more pressure on his position. We can slide the king back to f1 if necessary. Okay. Mm, this is, I guess, it's a nice move. And he's got this. Uh, <clears throat> maybe he got some ideas. Yeah, that's that's very nice. And now you can even go for the folk. So. Uh, we need to be mindful of that. Okay, let's go rook c. Yeah. And now we can even try to secure. Maybe we'll try to defend. Okay, so maybe we don't really have a choice and we just need to take this is also an option this is also an option we can also put yeah we can also put the king here this is actually also a very nice move but now um maybe we even got some ideas like we need to somehow open up the position so Let's take. And again, we might even sacrifice the exchange if necessary. Okay, and we got some pressure on his position. So now, oh, okay. So he just displayed it. Like um, after uh, playing this pawn take c4, uh, now we can uh, just protect it. So in this position, we can even try to sacrifice the exchange, but I, I guess the top move is to go directly for the checkmate. And again, we don't really have a lot of time. So if necessary, we can always sacrifice the exchange, check and mate. Yeah, this is a checkmate. Okay, so I think our opponent played uh, really, really good. I think he was better than me in the middle game, actually. Uh, but we managed to deal with the clock and we did okay. And, uh, and again, guys, mostly I don't really uh, play the, against the French. I mostly play uh, C4. I'm an English uh, player, but uh, I want to try some uh, new stuff. So basically, uh, this is the main line because I don't know, playing for example uh, bishop to e3, you're going to lose this pawn and this is going to mess up our game. You will move the knight, you will lose the second pawn, so this might be a mess. Playing knight to d2 can cause a mess because right now this uh, diagonal will be protected. So you just need to uh, deal with it that you cannot really uh, protect this pawn anymore. So just take and try to find a new place, a new home for this knight. So we take. Okay, so the engine wants to go before directly, like um, go go aggressive. So h4 in this position was even better. Yes, I, I do understand the logic of that. So we take. As you can see, white is slightly better in this position. Nothing. Okay, so a4 in this position was even even better. Yeah, b5 was too early. Yes, and rook c1 immediately. Okay, also the win in this pawn was quite better. 
And now black in this position is already better. We have this nice fox, so nice fox, so now we are better again. Games continue. Okay, king f1 is a must because you don't really want to get checkmate. We move. Yes, and this was uh, quite dangerous for me. I did blunder. Um, okay, so yeah, king d1 makes more sense. Yes, and now I, I was thinking about maybe really uh, sacrifice the exchange, but uh, D1, uh, king d1 is actually a very good move. Okay, as you know, now he blunder. It was uh, under some time pressure, but he really played well, and we end up checkmate him, uh, checkmate the king. So yeah, rough game. And uh, again, guys, I'm not so familiar with those kinds of position because I was playing c4 uh, mostly uh, in the past year, but uh, did my best. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, this was a very fun line to play. So see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.